It's always hard to figure out what a photographer wants for Christmas. And if you are in that situation, you might want to watch this video because I'm going to tell a few very good tips, actually seven tips, what to get for a photographer for Christmas, coming up. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visioner and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about those seven things that might be a good gift for a photographer during Christmas time, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. I usually post two videos a week, usually on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And remember, my channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and also about Olympus gear. But let's start with the number one. And the number one is Peak Design Camera Cuff, which goes around your wrist and it makes you easy to carry your camera. And what's really great about this, the whole system comes with these small anchors and you can attach them to any camera and then use only one cuff. And this, to be honest, this is something that I use every day when I make images with my Olympus gear because I don't like the neck straps that much. I usually have only this on my camera. I, I just happen to like it. And this is a very good gift for a photographer. It's very handy and totally useful. You don't buy anything crap. And if you like to have the, uh, what do you call the, the neck strap, you can attach them to these two. You can have two of them here and then you can attach the neck strap on these ones too. So Peak Design have lots of different kinds of neck strap for small cameras, bigger cameras, different materials and different colors and different looking things. But uh, this is something that I, I really recommend. Number two is a small tripod like this one, Gorilla Pod. This is made by Joby. And uh, what's great about this particular type, can you see it? What's great about this particular type is that you can attach it to anywhere because you can bend the legs and this is very well made. And when I'm mentioning the brands, they are not sponsoring this video at all. All this stuff is something that I have used and bought with my own money. So this video is not sponsored by anybody, but let's continue. And uh, why I like this is that I can fit this into my camera bag easily. And I also can fit this in my travel bag if I'm traveling, because I usually have this with me because of the small size and really versatile. And then this is an optional thing that, and I have it because this is a great place to put some lights like I had this one here, a small light, or you can put a microphone or some other uh, accessories to it. And then of course you have the camera and it is a Arca Swiss compatible ball head on this one. So it's really, really versatile and handy. And uh, did I mention that you can take this off? So you ha only have, you can just roll it up. All right, that's a way to handle your gear. I don't think, let's see how durable that light was. And now it's a bit easier. If you're not doing anything with video, you only do images. And speaking of the light that I dropped, let's see if it still works. Uh, here we can turn it on. Yeah, it's quite durable. No problem with that. And yeah, the third one is a small LED light which can, which can be attached in top of your camera. And uh, I happen to have Amaran ALM9. It's by Aperture. I hope I uh, pronounce it correctly. It's written like this. So. But um, this is not qu uh, the newest model. They have some, some newer models with, with, uh, which are so-called RGB LEDs, which, which uh, have different colors. This is only, only one color, but you can, you can really see it, but you can uh, adjust the, the brightness of these. And it comes with, with a small pouch and it has some colored gels. Let's put on the blue one. Let's see, it's quite bright actually. Let's turn it off. It has magnets here, magnets here then, and this uh, diffusion material, this plastic material attached to it. And then you can put the blue gel there and then you can attach and then you have a blue 
tinted color. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can, there, there you can see the, the blue color. It's a bit bright and let's make it less bright and, and you can see the, now you can most likely see it better how blue it is. It's a blue color and you can have different colors. And then you have also a, another diffuser here and you have a orange gel. And uh, these are really, really good to, to put in top of your camera. Let's, let me show you how to do that. You, it comes with this attachment with the, with the, I don't know what you call it, hot shoe or whatever. Let's grab the camera here and uh, we'll have it on top of this one. Let's put it on and it's tightening. Okay, there's, okay now. And then you have a small light here. And this is also good for lighting small little things or lighting the background as I show you. Small little things and what's really good that it's really small, it can fit into your bag and you can have a small additional light for your photography when you're traveling for example or in the dark conditions. Of course this is not something that can light a total big scene but if you're making a portrait somewhere when it's dark it also lights up the face a bit and it will give you that nice nice uh, catch light in the eye if you have a bright light in, in top of your camera. I think it's, it's a very good and, and really nice. And let's see if I can handle all this stuff in my in my table. And yes if you want to get these, and there will be more, there will be a link to a kit.co store where you can see all these things and I've written a, a bit a small explanation what everything is and there are Amazon affiliate links and remember the affiliate links work so that when you buy something I get a small commission but you do not pay anything extra so it's a win-win situation and if you use those links it's very much appreciated. It will support my channel to make this free content for you. And the next one is a small lens for your camera, for your Olympus camera or a micro four thirds camera. I know getting a lens for Christmas from somebody is not very usual, but of course it might happen. But this lens is very, very inexpensive so-called body cap lens, which is uh, which Olympus has actually two of these different kinds. The other one is 9mm and the one that I have is a 15mm f8 lens. And there's actually a video about that in my channel. So if, or is it that side? I think it's on that side, sorry. And if you uh, uh, are interested in that, please watch that video. And it's a very inexpensive lens because I got this for 39 euros. It, I think the price is now around 99 but it's still a very versatile and very fun lens and especially the 9mm which I unfortunately I don't have right now makes a nice small fisheye image which looks really cool and uh, yeah it's, it is very versatile lens and something that you know you can get for Christmas because it's not that expensive and you know it's I've had a lot of fun with this lens and, and when I picked it up from the cupboard when I was thinking of, of different things of this video and I thought that a lens would be a really good Christmas present and I took this and remembered that I actually I should use this a lot more because it's it's really really a nice nice lens. But of course remember it's not the sharpest lens in the world but still very much fun to use because photography is a lot more than just sharp images. And then there is one thing that actually I don't have exactly the same product, it's lens pouches. I found from Amazon really, really great lens pouches. And the pouches are for storing your lens in a cabinet or using them as a protection when you have your lenses in your bag. Because sometimes you need to stuff your, your lenses in and it might be a bit crowded. And when having the pouch protecting your lens is a wise thing. Some of the Olympus lenses the Emsuiko Pro lenses have a pouch when you buy them, but some, but or not all of the lenses have it. So this might be a very good. And this, uh, let me check the, the brand because it was totally something new. Altura Pack, the brand is Altura. It has four pouches, at least when I was making this video, then it was on sale. So you might consider those. And then we come to number six, and that's a hard drive because Hard drives is something that you always need. When you're taking a lot of images, you need to store them. You need to have backups of the, of the um, uh, images and video clips that you make. And what I usually use is the uh, Lassie Rugged 
uh, hard drives. There are different kinds and different sizes and I use them. It's behind my computer over there. I got a couple of them to, to back up my images. And uh, why I use the rugged ones is that if I need to move them, I can be sure that they are not uh, or, or they, they don't broke or broke is that broke or they don't, you know, break. I think that's the right word. They don't break if I move them and or need to carry around if I have my laptop and I need to to have some clips with me and stuff like that. Then it's those are really, really good. But of course, good uh, hard drives are not that uh, cheap and you need to, you know, pay a little more. But it's it's a very valuable gift for a photographer because we need them a lot. And before we get into the seventh tip, I will reveal and surprise you that there will be a tip number eight. Some exciting stuff coming up and the number eight is the most exciting thing for me. And I hope it's also most exciting for you. We spoke about hard drives, but there's also another thing. And those are memory cards, which are also things that photographers need. And we need them a lot. And then, of course, it, uh, the, mem the type of memory card, it, it all depends on what kind of camera uh, the, the user or the photographer is using that you're getting these for. Uh, if you if they have an Olympus camera, it's the SD card, and I will have a link in the description to to the Kit CO store where there are different kinds of memory cards and 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 a small uh, instruction and what memory cards are for what cameras. But uh, most of my viewers are using Olympus cameras, and so it's the SD card that is the card that you need. And then. The most exciting thing on this list for me, and I hope it's for you too, I have finally set up my web store so that you can buy some consulting and mentoring from me. And uh, the way it works is that I have set up two products for, for right now or items that you can, you can uh, buy. The first one is uh, a one hour Skype call with me face to face. We will discuss your photographs and I will give you some uh, tips and what to do and how to get better and what are the things that you might want to uh, re rehearse or, or practice and to get to get so that you get better with your imaging. And and we will have a and, and of course before that we will exchange some emails. Then then I will ask some questions about your uh, need or your what are the things that you yourself think that must be improved and where are you want uh, on. It's hard to say where are you wanting to go with your photography because that's something that you have to decide. I can give you advice, but it's the decision is yours. And of course, if you get this, you need to have the motivation to be better. But of course, if you just want to chat me for an hour, just two of us, that'll be fine too. And the second product is an hour uh, discussion about your camera. If you have any questions about your Olympus camera, this is this is strictly Olympus. The other one is, of course, with any camera, but this one is for Olympus users because that's the cameras that I know the best. And uh, we will, you know, I can give you advice how to use your camera. Maybe if you need some some new lenses, that's also something to consider. Or maybe you're upgrading your your camera gear and want to have some advice from from a pro at that. What what are the things that you might want to consider? when getting a new camera, but that's, we can also, because this is uh, personal for you, we can discuss the content because I want to have the content different to everybody that re requires, not requires, that uh, fulfills their needs to be better, even using their cameras, because of course using your camera is, is one thing and then getting the photograph is another thing. And this, the price will be 99 euros, including all taxes, and it will be only 30 slots or 30 sessions each uh, product because I want to be sure that I have enough time for you. So I'm not going to oversell and so that you could get your, your uh, session in February. I want to do them r as soon as possible you have bought them. And the link to that web store and all the instructions will be in the uh, description of this video. So if you're interested in this, go check that out and see if that's something for you. But I really hope that I can help you. But remember, this offer is only this year. First of uh, January 2020, the price will be 129. So be sure to grab the uh, opening special on those two courses. 
or it's not a course, but mentoring and coaching. And then last thing before I end this video. This video will be the last one in 2019. I will be back on January 3rd, 2020. The reason is that uh, it's been a hard work to do two videos a week and December was a bit more uh, busy than I thought in, in wise I had some photo shoots and video shoots during December which I don't usually have that much and that's why I've had a bit trouble keeping up with the schedule in December and also the renovation which seems to be an eternal project in this small office is still not done and I need to do that also uh, but I want to thank you all about this year it's been a really really pleasure doing these videos for you and I hope that you have uh, found these videos useful and I want to thank you for and doing a small competition I want to get better doing these videos next year please tell me in the comments down below what are the things that I should be doing better in these videos the best ideas and most constructive critique you can say bad things well not bad but you can say that i don't like this stuff in your channel and that thing you're doing wrong but of course if i do something right or something nice then please tell me that also and the best and co most constructive critic will get one of these i will send this to you and then of course another thing is what is your favorite video from this year please put a link in the comment section and i will one of those who will comment on that might get one of these so then i need to tell the guidelines and the rules of this competition what you need to do is to make a comment about the two things that i said what should i improve and what is the best thing that i should do next year and how would i get better what should i do to get better next year and what was your favorite video video from last year please let me know in the comments down below and one of you from each of those comment types will get one of these and uh, the only thing you have to do is to comment and then after i picked these best comments on christmas day the 25th of december i will uh, put a comment in in the comment section and tell who it is and then you need to send me your address we can figure out that so you don't have to put it out in the open you can email me I will tell you then how to get how will I get your address and I will send this to mail uh, in, in mail to you and after that I will delete your address so it won't be in stored in my in my hard drive anywhere I will be deleting it so that address won't be used to anything else but to send you this and then the second thing about the rules is that this is not endorsed by YouTube it's not endorsed by Lexar or anybody else I bought these two memory cards for you to get or two of you to get so that I can thank you for being there and commenting my videos and then I would be really happy if you consider buying the courses or buying something through those affiliate links remember it's a win-win situation and you might want to watch these videos next the top videos are about Mzuiko lenses and the bottom one is about you getting to be a better photographer all videos about how to do images better but hey thanks for watching and bye for now see you in january 2020